Today I'm going to talk about something that I don't believe I've ever addressed in our thousand plus video messages. It is the fear of rejection. Now there is a real roadblock that stops many women, many men, on their road to success. It is a breaking mechanism inside of the person. And it slows activity, it slows growth, because we have this nagging fear that someone, somewhere, won't like what we're doing. And therefore, we stop ourselves rather than to face that rejection. Here's what Harry Truman once said. He said, how far would Moses have gone if he would have taken a poll in Egypt? <laughs> In our Bible, in James 2, verse 1, it says, My dear friends, don't let public opinion influence how you live out your glorious, Christ-originated lives. The fear of rejection and its cousin, the fear of failure, are roadblocks on our way to success and on our way to happiness. When we try to please everyone in sight, we create for ourselves a task that is unrealistic, it's unsatisfying, and it's unworthy of our efforts. If you're letting the opinions of other people hold you too much back, too much influence the sway of your life. It's time to start thinking brave thoughts with God coming through you and surrounding you. It is time to think in a more rational way and a faithful way. Remember, your worth doesn't come from others. It comes from God. Not public opinion, it comes from God's opinion of you. And let me tell you something. God's opinion of you is higher than on your best days of your opinion of yourself. Today, I ask you to know that God and God's ways, doing God's will, that's what you should be about in your life. Now, sure, there are a few people that you would like to please, like your family, your close friends, and the person that signs your paycheck. But trying to please everyone, that is absolutely impossible. And it's not even what God expects especially when it comes to choosing between people and keeping the faith. And keeping the faith means keeping the faith in God, but also it means keeping the faith in you and what you're about, the dreams that you have, the God-given abilities that you have. You don't let anyone stomp on your dreams or your opinion. Most of the time, my friend, we stomp on our own. We stop short, not wanting to be criticized or rejected. So your top priority should be to please God. And you please God by being the best that you can be. And then even when others reject you, and they will at times, God will always accept you and reward you with unbelievable, undreamed of good and serendipity coming into your life. You will have a better life when you go beyond the fear of rejection, the fear of failure, and become all that you can be with God's help. You always have the choice of stopping yourself, but you choose not to. You choose to, to put it all on the line and become the best person 
for yourself, for God, and also for others. And they'll see in time that it was the best and the blessed way for you to go.